You're gonna have to sacrifice. This is why I feel like people say that you should fall in love with your journey. I want this testimony to be full of every single circumstance that I can think of that I know for a fact that I went through. My beauty, my style, self-growth, my way. I am super excited to do this video. Because if you know, you know, and you've been here, I have been doing a lot of beauty content recently. I have been doing a lot of hair wig deals, which I'm grateful for, I ain't gonna complain about it. I have been missing doing my sit down videos where we talk about self growth. Let's jump in. Today's topic of discussion is getting derailed from our journey. This is something that everybody can relate to. More than I would like to admit, I have gotten derailed and distracted on my journey so many different times that at a point I had to sit down and really think like, okay, how, first of all, can I keep myself in check and how can I look out for these triggers? So we're going to approach this discussion from two different aspects. The first thing we need to do is we need to realize what the triggers are that constantly get us distracted. The second approach is how can we figure out the solution? So I have four solutions that we constantly need to do in order to make sure that we are staying on track. So let's go ahead and jump into the first trigger, this is a good one, okay? So we've all heard of FOMO, which is fear of missing out. But let's talk about FEMO. And FEMO is fear I've missed out. When I fear that I've missed out on something, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to go backwards. I can personally attest to this situation. FEMO killed me for a very long time. I have two different videos where I talked about how I spent a lot of my 20s kind of trying to be a people pleaser. I wanted to please everybody. The other one that you guys should check out is my marriage get ready with me talk. That video I went specifically in depth about my marriage. And if you guys have been here, then you already know I got married very young. I had my kids very young. A lot of my 20s, I didn't go out partying, I didn't go out of the country, I didn't travel, I didn't do a lot of those things. I was like constantly stuck in this mind space of, well, let me go back and try to do some of these things. What I needed to do was think about where I am currently in my life and how I can move forward to achieve the things that align with where I am today. A perfect example of that is, if you know, like you know, then you already know. <laughs> I have talked about how much weight I have gained. I have gained about 30 pounds. I gained about 30 pounds. I am actually on a very, very good health track right now, which we'll keep an update on that later. I'm constantly in this mind space of, well, I want to get back to where I was. Well, me, a couple of years ago, I was vegan. I was 35 pounds less than what I am right now. I took my health very seriously. But here's the thing. Mentally, baby, I was not there. I was not strong. I didn't know where my voice was. I wasn't strong enough in my, my femininity and my womanhood. The person that I am now, I'm that person mentally. Now that I'm that person mentally, I know that I can move forward and become a new refreshed version of myself. Like I said, overall, we have got to get out of that FEMO kind of mind space. It was one of the triggers that kept me bound and it kept me constantly getting off track to where I didn't know, you know, which lane I was in. Second trigger that we really want to keep an eye on because it's a nasty little one, okay? Chasing the fantasy. Y'all, we, we've all heard the term chasing the bag. We have to be very, very, very careful about saying that we want to chase the bag. There is a big difference between financial security and chasing the bag. Financial security, you're trying to set yourself up for retirement or whatever your plans are. You want to start that travel fund. You want to start that vacation fund. You are doing things intentionally to make sure that you are set up overall financially chasing the bag means that you are chasing this money with no intention behind it. You have no plans. You just want to chase it to have it. That is a trigger that we definitely need to look out for. If you have watched any of my like self growth type of videos, then you already know. I say this a lot. We have got to be very, 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 very clear about what it is 
that we want. If you're chasing something, you're pretty much ignoring everything in the process. This is why I feel like people say that you should fall in love with your journey more than the end result. Because if I'm constantly chasing something, that means that my whole mindset is focused on, I just want that money. When I get that money, am I really, like sit and think about this for a second. Am I really going to remember anything that has taken place throughout my journey? No, because my sights were so far set on, I want this money, I wanna chase this bag. We can even apply this thought process to social media. And I'll use me for an example. I have gotten caught up in the social media life constantly scrolling constantly let me post what are my numbers why is nobody watching why like what do i need to do and guess what happens i am so far detached from what's going on in my house what's going on with my kids what's going on with my husband when we're chasing after something we're detached from where we need to be overall i want to be able to say at the end of my journey i want to be able to recollect a lot of my situations that i went through that means that i need to be intentional every single day i need to be focused i need to be present minded because if you're not present minded you're not going to remember and my biggest thing is when i do get to the success that i'm trying to reach and i get to you know all of these things I want this testimony to be real. Do you hear me, baby, okay? I want this testimony to be full of every single circumstance that I can think of that I know for a fact that I went through. Third trigger, mm, and I'm about to ruffle some feathers, clone syndrome. And I don't even need to explain this one for real, for real, because y'all should already know what I'm talking about. We are all influenced by something let's let's it's inevitable whether that be an influencer whether that be an entertainer a basketball player some marketing or advertising that you may have seen like literally i just went in target yesterday i saw this new body wash the packaging was pretty like i'm not gonna even lie to y'all okay like the packaging was aesthetically pleasing it smelled the advertising was beautiful and i'm like oh i gotta get this do you see how quickly it is to be influenced so let's let's just make an understanding right here right now being influenced is not the issue it's when you are influenced to the point where you're really <laughs> it's when you're willing to be influenced to the point that you're willing to change all of what is important to you when you get to a point where you're willing to change who you are as a person to replicate somebody else because of what you see their life circumstances baby stop it mm -mm. that's that's that nope, nope 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 everybody i feel like is guilty of this when they first start their youtube because they don't really know you know what works so they start mimicking some of the other influencers that they might have watched because obviously something has worked for them so you're trying to figure out your own personal approach it is very easy to get derailed when you see somebody else living the life that you want but here's the biggest thing that we miss with that whole entire concept is that person had their own journey they had their whole life and life story prior to whenever their big change happened we're sitting here stuck looking at what they currently have now do we not realize that they had a past do we not realize that they had their own individual journey and they had to go through a lot of steps in order to get to where they are anybody who uses social media understand this you only see what they allow you to see okay please understand that and please remember that because again when we get sucked into what we see we don't see the back end of what they that, that might that person might be struggling and broke we don't know but they're not showing us that they're showing us what we want to see and what we're intrigued by Ooh. clone syndrome is real and you have got to be a strong-willed person to understand and know who you are as a person who you are as an individual and what it is that you are trying to succeed in in your own life that is the person that you need to be focused on trust and believe baby i could have made this list very long i could have put a ton of triggers because that is like a little sprinkle that ain't even a sprinkle that is a little dusting okay that's like that little that little pinch of sea salt that big mommy's throw like that's what that is there are a lot of triggers that you really really need to be looking out for when it comes to your own personal journey and understanding what it is that is constantly getting you off track but that brings me into the solution side 
of this whole entire conversation. So I've got four solutions. I feel like if I constantly do these things, then I should constantly always be exactly where I'm supposed to be in my own little lane. The first thing that we wanna constantly do is we want to constantly be working on preparation. I know that y'all have probably seen a ton of videos where somebody says, you're asking for something, but you are not even prepared. I'm speaking to my YouTubers right now. If you are a YouTuber and you're like, I want my channel to blow up, blah, 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 blah. If 100,000 people fell into your subscriber count tomorrow, honestly ask yourself, would you be able to handle the command of giving content for 100,000 people? Would you be able to entertain 100,000 people? Would you be able to keep that content pushing back to back to back? A lot of us want entrepreneurship through YouTube, but are you aligned with where you need to be in order to make that happen as a goal? You have to think about things like pace of your video. You have to think about the lighting, the editing, the this and the that. You have to be able to hook your viewer in and keep them hooked in. Think about what could I be doing better? And if you need some YouTube tips or tricks or whatever, I have a video for that too. I'm telling y'all, I got a video for everything, okay? I just want you to understand that you always need to be preparing. And I say this a lot too. You could be one away, one video away, one TikTok away, one post away, one sale away. The last thing that we want to do is have everything that we've been asking for put right into our lap on this silver platter this imaginary silver platter that I'm holding. Everything that you've been wanting and praying for, but are you prepared to handle it? Are you prepared to hold the weight of this platter? If you're constantly in the headspace of like trying to prepare yourself, that is going to be a great way to make sure that you are staying exactly in your lane and running your own race. You're going to be focused on constantly bettering yourself, trying to motivate yourself, trying to you know, get yourself to that next level. When you are really focused and locked in on doing that for yourself, you don't really have time to look at the outside distractions or anything that would get you derailed from walking in your own lane. Another thing when it comes to preparation, and I'll go ahead and wrap this up. If you are a faithful person, I am a faithful person, and y'all know this if y'all been here, but I am a believer in God, okay? If you are a faith-based believer, then you know everything is about God's timing. So even if you are fasting and praying and you know, you're know you doing all the preparation work, still please understand this, that it is going to be whenever God says that you are ready to have it. Don't be tempted to get that devil's yes quick and early on in the process just because you're trying to have that quick come up. I don't want no quick come up. I want a come up that is going to be long lasting. I meant God's timing here. Get out of your own way. Trust me, I've been in my way a very long time. Get out of your own way and let God guide you because whatever God has in store for you is greater than anything that you could have cooked up in that little noggin of yours. Okay. Second thing, and this is a Big one, constantly stay in a state of gratitude. Do y'all hear me? Do you see my lips moving? And this kind of goes hand in hand with that, that trigger that I said when we're chasing that fantasy or we're chasing that bag and we're chasing, chasing, chasing. When you're chasing something and, and especially God has not given you the approval to have it yet, baby, you are missing out on every single thing to give gratitude for in your life. Even like my new things that I just don't even think about doing, I stop in those moments now just to be like, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you for running water. Thank you for the ability to be able to get out of my bed and stand on my feet. Thank you for being able to put my necklace on because those are fine motor skills. Listen, anything that you can think of, give gratitude for. Truly, I live in a world of bliss now. For the most part, I'm gonna say 92% of the time. There is a small 8%, okay, <laughs> where I'm like, I, you know, I might have an off day or something. I, I, like I said, I'm not perfect, but I try to constantly live in that blissful state of mind. A lot of the times we're putting pressure on ourselves that is unnecessary. Think about that reference that I made to social media earlier, like, oh my gosh, where's my numbers? I'm not growing. Blah, 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 blah. Like, 
that's pressure that I didn't even need to have. That's added pressure and stress that I did not need to have. I have eliminated all stress in my life. I am not going to let anybody stress me out. I'm not gonna let myself stress me out because a lot of the times I used to stress my own self out. I promise you it will help you stay locked in and in tune with where it is that you wanna go in your life. Number three thing to constantly be on the lookout for when it comes to just really staying in tune with your journeys, constantly keep going in spite of. And I'm going to give you guys my own quote. Getting up every day, giving your all, and seeing no progress is the worst feeling ever. But getting up every day, giving your all, in spite of seeing no progress, is what it takes to make you successful in the end. That is my quote. So if you hear somebody say my quote, you better make sure that they tag Tony in it. That's all I'm gonna say. If you keep going in spite of, I'm gonna put it like this. When we don't see that growth, that is actually another trigger within itself. When we don't see that growth, we start questioning ourselves. We start thinking, well, what am I doing wrong? And we get so discouraged sometimes that we completely stop and we give up. Don't do that. I am here to tell you, please, don't do that. Don't give up on yourself. Don't allow any reason in this world to make you want to give up on yourself. Even when you haven't seen that instant overnight growth or you haven't seen that large lump sum of money hit your account, you keep going every single day. By showing up every single day for yourself, that is a habit that you're creating. When you have these good habits that you're creating and you're showing up every day and you're improving every single day, guess what? At some point down the line, when God says it's your time, it is going to be your time and guess what? You're going to be prepared for it. Every single day is going to propel you forward. Don't pay attention to the numbers. Don't pay attention to the sales. Don't pay attention to any of it. So my fourth and final tip of the mindset that you want to be constantly in to always ensure that you are staying in your journey, staying on your path, not veering off to the left or right, is constantly be at center stage. And what I mean by that is if you are anybody like me, I took a back seat to myself for many, many years. I was afraid to use my voice. I was afraid to put myself out there. I was afraid to be vulnerable. If you are anything like me, let me save you a whole lot of years and a whole lot of self-work and let me just tell you that you have gifts, you are special, you are unique, and you are fully capable of standing in that light. Stand in that person that you want to be 100%. It's a very uncertain road, okay? But I am here to tell you that if you travel it, it is so very, very, very well worth it. Two years back for me, this would have never happened. I would have never saw myself being completely vulnerable on YouTube, sharing stories about my personal life. Like I literally explained what happened to my wedding rings in that other video. It's quite funny. But things like that, that I would have thought that I never would have been talking about, I am so freely talking about it because I know who I am. I know that I am capable of doing far more than what I ever, ever, ever could have imagined. Stay in your lane. I cannot stress that enough. Your lane is meant specifically for you. The trials that you are, go, are going to go through, they are made specifically for you. I encourage you to stay on your journey. Don't, don't decide to pick up somebody else's shoes, okay? Those shoes, they don't fit you, they not your size, they not made for you, you not made to walk in them. You are made to walk in your shoes, in your lane, going through your journey and life. I really, really, really hope that you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoy making it. Please, please, please drop in the comments below. Like I said, there are so many different triggers that can trigger us, that get us derailed from our journey. So make sure that you drop those in the description box, not the description box, oh my gosh. Drop them in the comment section. Drop them in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. If you have been here before, maybe you already know what I'm about to say, but if you have not, 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, baby. And also make sure that you are hitting that notification bell as well so you can see when the videos is going up on the channel. I'm just saying. Until next time. Bye.